Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a retro low resolution effect to a video clip in DaVinci Resolve 17.2.2. Inside your edits window, hold in control and press I to insert a video clip of your choice into your project. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool, find the thumbnail of the video that you have inserted. Go to click on the icon which appears when you hover your mouse cursor over the bottom right corner of your thumbnail to open up the clip attributes. As we can see with these properties, the resolution of my chosen video is 4096 by 2160, whilst the frame rate is 25. These two values will help us determine the pixelation and stop motion effects that we will add later on in this tutorial. Select your thumbnail and drag your video clip to your edits timeline. Go to effects library. Underneath toolbox, select open effects and go to find a mosaic blur underneath resolve FX blur. Click and drag one of these filters to the video clip edits on your timeline. Select the video edit. Go to inspector, select effects to find the mosaic blur properties. The higher the pixel frequency, the smaller the pixels will appear on screen. In this particular project, to make certain details stand out more slightly, I will increase pixel frequency to 140, so that the video doesn't appear too blocky. Ensure that smooth strength remains at zero, so that no blur effect is added to the edges of your pixels. Return to your Open Effects menu. You can use the search box at the top to find the stop motion filter. Click and drag this to the relevant video clip on your timeline. With the video clip selected, under Inspector again and Effects, double click on the stop motion label to open up the properties for this filter. To enhance the retro performance of your video clip, we will have certain frames of the clip frozen for a certain period of time as the video plays. To apply a stop motion effect similar to that which you can see in this particular tutorial, it is recommended that you have roughly 5 frozen frames per second. As we previously identified the frame rate of this chosen video in this project as 25, the frame repeat value underneath advanced options will be kept at 5. This will ensure that a still which is shown will then overlap 4 subsequent frames in the video clip to show for a total of 5 frames. Select the colour tab. If you already have other video clips in your project, ensure that the clip that you wish to add a retro low res effect to is selected underneath the video preview. Ensure that the color wheels option is selected so that you see the primaries panel below. To sharpen the video and make minor reductions to blur in your video, increase mid detail to 100. Contrast can be incremented to 2000 to add a posterized effect as this reduces the colour shade variation in your video clip. But to maintain various details of the video clip in this particular project, I will only increase this value to 1.500. You may wish to set a lower value for this particular variable if you feel that content in your video clip becomes too dark. What you can also do to make the darker areas stand out more is to increase the value next to cold boost. Here in this example I will increase this to 10 to add a minor colour boost effect. Outlines in shadowy areas should then become more obvious. To add more colour vibrance like what you would see in a retro video game or video sequence, increase the saturation value. In this particular example here I will increase this to 80. You can also make the brighter or darker areas more intense on your video clip by going to curves and adjusting the horizontal positioning of both the nodes on the line which appears on the chart. Dragging the bottom node towards the point where the RGB lines intensify for example will enhance the darker areas on your video. Dragging the top right note towards the left on the other hand will intensify the brighter areas. Alter the horizontal location of both these nodes to points where you have made minor reductions to colour variation but have also enhanced the video's clarity. Return to your edits window. Inside your effects library, close your search box if this contains any criteria. Go to effects and go to find adjustment clip. 
click and drag one of these filters to the video track directly above the clip that you are editing. Using the selection mode tool again, which you can also do by pressing A, ensure that the length of the adjustment clip is the same as that as your chosen video clip for this project, with start and end points both being the same. Select the adjustment clip. Now return to open effects in your effects library and go to search for scan lines. Click and drag one of these filters to your adjustment clip. With the adjustment clip selected, go to effects under inspector to find the scan lines properties. To increase the amount of scan lines that appear on screen, increase the line frequency value. In this particular example, I will increment this value to 10 to add a classic computer monitor effect. Maintain the default values for the rest of this effect's variables. Select video, scroll down to composite. When rendering your retro low res video, the scan lines that appear on your final video clip may appear too strong compared to those that you can see in the preview window in DaVinci Resolve, such as in the example shown. In order to reduce the scan line significance, reduce opacity from 100 to 10. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.